Hey everybody, it's Starduster 2. Welcome to the channel. Okay, um, these are tomato plant pieces, tomato plant pieces. And as you can see, there's lots of tomatoes on them. But I let my plants get out of control and I was not out here maintaining, tying them up in time. It is what it is. I still got plenty of tomatoes and plants left. And that's just what I did over here. I have some more in, throughout the yard and other places. But I wanted to share with you what happens when you don't stay on top of <clears throat> pruning your tomato plants and tying them up. There's a good one. There's a good one. Where'd you go, tomato horn worm? I had more than one type of tomato uh, worm on these plants. There's a tomato horn worm right there. Can you see that? Now I've already cut him in half. So he's got a lot of good juice coming out of him. You see that little green stuff right there? I got him in two places. Um, but these holes, see all these holes on the leaves? Okay, if you start seeing all those holes on your leaves, that means you've got a worm infestation. And the reason why that happens is because your plant is touching the ground. These worms crawl up the plant, okay? So if your plant's on the ground, you best believe that they're gonna climb up it. I also wanted to find a good um, branch to share with you what it looks like if they've gotten to that whole branch. Hold on. I definitely did have a couple, but okay, I'll try to use this one as an example. It'll be more than that gone. Like you'll see little nubs on your plant. They will have eaten it so good that there will be nubs. It won't be leaves, it'll be nubs. I'm trying to find an example of that for you. Now, this is all from a newbie gardener's experience, but I went through this last year. And I wasn't going to prune my plants this year. I'm not gonna trim them up at all. I was like, I'm just gonna let them do what they do. And uh, yeah, nah. Yeah, Let's see. All these weeds I pulled up in other parts of the plant over here that I cut off. Oh, don't get it twisted. I'm gonna do the best I can to save what I got and transplant these somewhere else and hopefully they'll root on their own. I was able to do that successfully with this one. This was a, um, Lord have mercy y'all, a branch from one of my other tomato plants. I need to come trim on this. And I stuck it in the ground and as you can see it's still growing. So don't get discouraged and think that there's more. So yeah, that's what I, I trimmed off of that. There's a, always still, if there's a will, there's a way. So I'm gonna continue to come and clean this plant up. As you can see, it's still producing tomatoes. That one's still producing tomatoes. Um, this is what your tomatoes will look like when you don't stay on top of it. All right, let's get over those holes in there. So this is the stuff you wanna look for. Okay. These are tips from your fellow newbie gardener. Man, y'all, we don't get no rain, but we get plenty of daggone weeds. <laughs> so trimmed up this one. This is the one that actually had the tomato hornworms on it, the big fat green ones. The other plant had the uh, long black um, worms on it, which I'm, I can't recall the name of those, but I'll do the best I can to find out and either share it in another video or put it in the description. But I was hoping I could show you the nubs, but I think you guys get the point, okay? And I'm going to trim these up and the ones that look like they're worth saving I'm going to stick in some dirt somewhere else in the yard. And I plan on still having me some tomatoes producing off of these. So, thanks for watching. And much success and abundance to you all in the garden.